Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Daily Fix and we are going to be playing a vanilla game of Stellaris. We're currently in a version Shelly 2.5.1. Along this series, eventually this will all change, um, the version will increase, uh, maybe the new DLC will be released while this uh, series is hopefully still on its way. You can never be too sure about that, is it? So, we're going to be starting as a new game. Uh, the Moth Swarm, I'm I'm not very... <laughs> I don't have a fantasy, let's just keep it like that. Um, we took over the soul system, it is Earth. With hive mind, rapid breathing and extremely habitable. I like extremely habitable because as a swarm I used to... I want to take as many planets as possible. And uh, we'll just see. Now we're a devouring swarm, which you already noticed. Of course, there in the uh, in the title, Gestalt Consciousness, Sediment, Solitary, uh, a lot of these negatives will eventually remove once we're able to adapt our own species. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Devouring Swarm will um, will be able to war everyone due to hunger. We uh, we consider everyone to be a prey, so it's going to be extremely aggressive, which I absolutely love. We'll gain more uh, society research due to Xenopops, uh, we don't like other species. Ship hull points, plus 25%. Hull regen and armor regen, are 0.5. Starbase influence cost is already decreased by 50%. This is so strong. I consider this to be so bloody OP. Uh, army damage, plus 40%, which is absolutely lovely. And we have a research speed in biology. Plus 20% uh, so we'll always have an increased strength and increased rate in our um, research. Ship cost, uh, negative 25%. Absolutely, absolutely lovely. And then we have neighborable capacity plus 33%. Now, because of that, I always like to take another navy capacity bonus. We want to swarm with a hive. That's what we do. So, without further ado... Huge star, spiral forearms, it, it's a bit like what I use usually do. Maybe we'll go with the Eclipse. Not the ring. The Ecliptical... Uh, you know, I, I just like the forearm the most. Uh, 30 AIs, no advanced starts, all fallen empires, all marauders, technology cost is normal, habitability worlds is normal as well. Uh, primitive civilizations, crisis strength is on two because I just, uh, I used, m most of my series don't even get to that point. I'm sorry for that. If you are interested in crisis, we'll see if we can actually manage. <sighs> coffee, coffee. Uh, Mid-game, end-game, victory years of Grand Admiral, no scaling, AI aggressiveness is normal. Empire placement is random, advanced neighbors is off. Yada 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 yada. Carvin is off. Iron Man is off. Now, eventually, I would like to do a series where we can actually do achievement hunting. But since I'm actually also testing out this build, <laughs> because I don't know if it works, uh, we're just going to be playing with off. Now, while this is loading, my friends, you can be in the series by leaving a comment down below. And that is all that is required to be a future leader. I will make a list, first come, first serve. That's how I roll. Don't forget to smash that like button guys, don't forget it, it will definitely help out little old me. And I could use the help, I can really do. Subscribe if you haven't and you're visiting this channel, uh, maybe hitting that annoying, absolutely atrocious bell signal, uh, but it's all up to you. Anyways, the great hunger has begun. Let's take a quick look at where we are. We have one, two, three, four. Damn, <laughs> that's a lot of openings. Not sure I like that. Well, actually, we could spread it in a lot of different directions, but also means that we'll have a lot of possible directions where war could be coming from. Oof. Go with speed. Research speed over damage. Let's go with more society. And we shall be taking more minerals. As for Earth, we'll get to that later. Let's go to our science ship. 
Uh, okay, let's go and visit the ones that are next to us first. Um, don't feel like going too fast. I would like to explain a few things along the way because I do think people are entitled to know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Hopefully we'll um, we'll get off uh, to a good start, um, but we'll, uh, we shall see, we shall see. First building is going to be destroying my mineral count because we are going to be boosting uh, so many alloys out. It's going to be insane. No planet over there, which is quite annoying. I was hoping it is. We're going to be waiting until we are close to 200 energy because then is the moment that we can actually get another leader since there is nothing in there that speed up. Yes, yeah, so research that. I know usually not really what you want to be doing. Let's build up these mining stations. Mm, I don't want to sell food. We need like four, 200 alloys and 500 food to make a construction ship. So keep that in mind. If you are going to be playing as a hive mind. Um, I think we're almost there to get another one. Let's see, it's taking a lot longer. 60 days, so it's two months. Uh, one more tick and we'll build the science ship. I don't like wasting early on. I did build it. Lost in space. Uh, the Lyric ship, let's get it. That's uh, remarkable, I guess. And the science ship is almost done. Let's slow down a tiny bit. Uh, let's take a quick look at leaders in a second or so. Uh, scientist, let's see, what do we have? Oh god, no, that's horrible. Mm. We, we do have, we have a genius in here. We have a, a medical one, but uh, damn, come on. We could take this. You know, survey speed is absolutely great, it's lovely. But I would like to level up scientists that we can use in the future. So let's take you. Alongside of our new construction ship. And I'm going to be sending you there, there, here, here, here. I'm not the one that is particularly good <laughs> at keeping his economy in the green. So if you are a nitpick about that, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It will happen. Uh, because I, I will devastate my economy very, very early on. So we we'll try to build up. And it's because I am going to be... Probably going for a few alloy buildings instead of boosting up the economy. It the alloys will keep my economy afloat. So keep that in mind before you say that I'm an idiot. Well or not. <laughs> there we go. First one. So habitability and population growth is quite low. Do we care? No. No, we don't. We absolutely don't give a crap about that. Uh, let's see. Do we have one of those? modifiers in here that will give me a population let's see we got one over here so once we have that oh, please do remind me of that yes remind me because i will forget construction ship is done let's move over there i'm going for expansion the reason for it is i like the colony development speed i like the starbase influence cost reduction starbase upkeep reduction i like the additional population and uh, population growth speed Administrative capacity, it's nice, but it's not going to save my economy. So with that done, let's get an alloy foundry up and running. We're waiting until this is done and we can finally start with expanding. Speaking of that, let's build a construction ship or a colony ship. Interesting, apparently. It's interesting. Not really. Did we not get the Deliric ship? Yeah, we, we need to get a science ship in there. What the hell are you doing, man? Well, at least you are doing a good job. So once we are close to 200, we're going to build our third science ship. The reason for it is you have three scientists in your technology screen, right? And you want to make sure you have a good amount of scientists coming in. So you'll level them up eventually by assisting the research. Not doing that right now. Um, now you are almost done. Actually, I'll save that one for later. So you want to have three scientists at ready at all times. Uh, for when one of our drones is going to be kicking the bucket. So that is almost done. Construction ship is const extremely bored. 
Uh, let's research that. You know, even though they are expensive, they are. It is extremely difficult. But usually they do have a very, very good reward. So we'll see how that will go. You are done, which is good. There you go. You go over here. How many do you still need to research? Uh, but it looks like two more orders and you start moving off. Now, you can see already energy is going down. I know. <laughs> I know. But this is more than enough. We want to be boosting the alloy once we start finding other species. Um, it, it will start quite annoying early on. And the reason for that is they will just forget about your station they will move past it uh, we can do the absolute same thing and uh, until we get the FTL trap until they are they they actually need to attack my station there is actually no point there's no actual need to go and make a defensive station because they can bypass it and I rather have that let's pause it for a second I rather have that my fleet limit is up or my uh, ex additional shipyard so I can push ships out at the uh, the front line so let's colonize this planet take a quick look yeah okay so now we are colonizing I will go for the additional pop first so that is out of the way take a bit look there is a lot that we can do here with our construction ship so let's get that going as well and our science ship is going on this merry route over there and hopefully, yes, finding a oh no, a tomb world. <laughs> don't don't take these. Don't don't take these. It's a waste of resources unless you want to be fighting a potential fallen empire in the near future. Don't worry, no worries. Even if they are over here, they will find their way towards you. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. I can tell you that. They, it's not. It's not going to be pretty. So with that, of course, the all hope for getting two hundred is out of the room. Let's take a quick look over here. Let's go with populations, growth, marketplace. Mm. Let's do 300 so we don't lose 500 in a go. You are going to be making another science ship and we'll immediately hire, wrong one, hire another leader. Let's take you. Once the ship is there, we'll get it going. Now I could... I could go with a fourth one. This one is closed, which I really like. Yeah, I'll definitely explore what's in here first. So, let's pause here. Let's get you, and I want to send you into this direction. I want to know what's there. This could be a highly contested system. So, let's just beeline it, and we'll worry about the rest later. Mm-hmm. Great, we don't care, we can't take this, oh, uh, it's it's 20, so I'm happy about it, it's not going to do anything for us, so you are not working, which is definitely not a good sign, so let's go here, 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 and there, what's going on over here, so there's a lot of things that we can do, I want you to do the research anomalies, the research of projects, everything, so we don't have to look at our ships, we'll change the first layout of the very first station we'll have. Let's challenging, let's do it. Free is all done, you're already over there. If there was a planet, I would have definitely took it. Um, are we going for energy? Well, we can. We can. Let's do that right now. And the next step is going to be another alloy foundry. So it's quite heavy on Earth with the alloys. Um, we've taken over. We've taken over all the humans. They were living there. They were just stock, livestock to us. This song is way too calm. Yeah, that's better. It might be too loud eventually, so I'll have to do it low, lower one. Um, we'll get a society and a engineering boost on a planet. This is absolutely quite nice. Even though it's 40%. Um, I would still take it. I would still take it. We're swarming, remember? We don't care where our people will go as long as they do it. 
Now this will boost up my energy production again, which is quite lovely. I have the feeling we're, we're expanding way too slow. We are expanding way too slow. And that's usually not a good sign. I would like to go over there. Let's take a look. There's nothing in there, which is quite a shame. Hmm. We're not lucky. A fallen robotic society. Oh my. Oh, oh my. What a shame. Uh, we could potentially do the archaeological site. I think it's way too early for that. I would like to go over here with you. So let's go there. Let's see. So more minerals, which is lovely. Of the banners. Yes, please. Speed over damage. And uh, speed also goes with evasion. I think. I hope so. And don't worry about this. No need to. Once it's there, we'll just sell something. It's uh, not too important. I'm actually quite quite annoyed by the fact that we um, we don't have more habitable planets. I was hoping to get like 3 or 4 in year 10. That would have been very nice. Civilian ship. Let's make that one mining thing. And this one hasn't been researched. Yeah, there we go. So there you go. We have money again. And we're now on plus 0.44. Actually, negative 0.44. And we have added a toy factory complex to great, I guess. I don't think we'll have any use for that. Mm, toy factory. Oh, wow. Actually, this planet is turning, turning up to be quite quite nice for a uh, research planet. And we will need that. We'll, we'll need a planet that will boost the research for us. Man, the planets are really, really crap today. Uh, let's move you over there. How many jobs do you still have? You are on plus six. Excellent find. Excellent find. Okay, that is quite nice. Go. So, our new colony is almost ready. Man, that is not good. I need two more at the minimum. Let us build a colony ship already because otherwise I will forget for over here. And here we go. We got... At least an ocean world. And a savannah. And a bloody tomb world. What is up with the tomb worlds today? Yeah, they're not too pretty, but... Well, what can you do? This tomb world is like a 23 tile. Ah, oh, man. Not good. Not good. Here, yeah, build. Build base. Uh, research that. You are going. I would like to get my hands on a station over here. We don't need it, actually. Don't don't go spending alloys if you don't need it. Or don't need to. There's no need. There's no point. We want to go V-line over here as well. So, with you done, which is interesting. Let's pause and let's get all of these things under control. We'll get some more minerals. Research speed has increased. Um... Combat rolls is quite nice. It is quite nice. It it will help out quite a bit. As for our research boost, it will go in the long run as well as for the energy. But these will come. They, they will come again. And I'd rather go for the military rolls because I would like to get my ships as beefy as possible. Because we will find other empires. That means um, with shift enabled, build a starbase over there. So we will uh, do that next of after these systems. Uh, let's see. You have two more houses. We'll have to build the hive district. And we'll get another alloy factory done. Which is costing me four. That will bring me back to negative four. Like I said, I don't care uh, as much about the your basic resources as I care for your alloys. Colony ship is done. Go here. Colonized planet. I don't care. Let's do it. There is some good tiles there. We want to get used to that. And like I said, we're swarming. We don't care. There's a plus 10% in growth speed. Mm. Let's go with this one. This will actually provide you with naval capacity. So that's quite nice. 
as okay let's let's make sure that we at least notice that there's a planet over here oh there is definitely something there that it has to there has to be something oh continental Ooh, man that's that's good i like it i really like it let's see if if we are lucky enough to jump into a main system of an empire we're going to be using that momentum to take a good look at um, their ship design. Let's go with Starbase Influence cost. That will uh, help us a tiny bit. Especially with the influence. Uh, I will be capping on influence a lot, probably. Um, and I speak out of experience. Uh, yes, you will have your things running. Like your additional energy, your additional minerals and, and stuff like that. Maybe even additional growth, which you can get... Once you have the technology for 500 food. And we will take it. Everything that will help us grow is going to be amazing. This districts. Oh wow. Gorgeous. So there we go. We got a lot of things already. We can have one, two, three, four. We need to go into this direction as well. I don't want to go too fast. Uh, because going too fast usually will have a bit of a negative side. We don't have to spread out like crazy. Okay. This one is important for me because there's two planets, even though one is going to be a nine tile. But still, oh damn, here we go. Uh, the carbon is intriguing, I guess. And it is in here, I think. Okay, we're past. That is not a carbon here. You are definitely another empire, my very first other empire. He will take this. So we can allow them to grow to border us because we can we have hunger we can fight everyone at any given time which is good now before i end the episode i'm going to be destroying my economy some more to get more alloys because we have a potential enemy and he is potentially well he's not potentially he is overwhelming keep that in mind we're playing on grand admiral and we are going to be building a few more colonization ships because this is not happening. He will go all the way up to Vega. And this is where my fleet will have its go. I might have a few more stations going around. Maybe take this system. Not as defensive like I said earlier on. But just to push the border a tiny, tiny bit. Sirius is quite nice. Satyrus is quite nice. Yeah. Okay. So... If you leave your comment down below in the comment section, eventually your name will find its way to my series. Of course, it kind of depends if it is uh, a name which I can use. Like, if it's like swear words and stuff, I, I'm not going to use it. So, think about that. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.